Eddie Hearn tournament coordinator. I mean, Eddie, you got to be proud of yourself for what you brought in here for this thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been a long road getting the field we wanted, and uh, you know a lot of people would have seen this year the way we've drip fed the names in. Well, we wanted to do that one, obviously, to create more exposure for the event, but two, to give ourselves enough time to get exactly who we wanted. Who are you most excited about bringing in for the new? You know, um, I've said a lot a lot of uh, times recently, Jesse. We're, we're poker fans, you know, and everything we get involved with at Matrim is because we love it. You know, whether it's golf or football or darts, you know, it's because we love the game and we love poker. Um, and the people behind this event are poker fans. So, you know, we wanted to put together something special that's going to make the poker fans all over the world want to watch this show. And, you know, when you're talking about, it's the old guard versus the new guard, isn't it? You know, you've got Devilfish, Tony G, Phil Helmuth coming back again. You know, the, the, the former stars of poker, if you like, still very much stars in poker, but the new wave of players coming in, Tom Dwan, JC Tran, Nenard Medic, Annette Overstad. You know, these are people that, that are really, over the next five or ten years, going to be ruling the game, you know. And to watch them competing in this format, against people like Helmuth, Devilfish and Tony G. You know, even Roland the Wolf, you could even say he's part of the old guard now. Yeah, I mean, let's just talk about the new guard for a second, because it's not even like you brought in all one of the same new players, but they're all different styles. I mean, Eastgate, this is the World Series of Poker Champions, so this is, you know, big multi-table live tournaments, and then Annette is supposed to be, you know, one of the best multi-table internet players. Tom Dwan, Definitely rated as the best internet cash game player. And then J.C. Tran, who's, who's, who's been making final tables live for like three years. Yeah. And then an ad medic, of course, who's, who's about the same. Really hot player. Who, which style do you think is going to be the best? Are those five you know, new guys coming in? I think it's really interesting because you know, the, the format in the early stages, in the heats format, is a fast format. And this tournament is different to a lot of other big tournaments in that when you get to the final table, the format slows down. You know, when you're playing in a WPT or WSOP, when you get to the final table, then it becomes a crapshoot. Yeah. Know? Whereas this is another way around. You know, some people might say it's a crapshoot format in the heats. Well, you call it what you want. I don't think it is. But well, you play six times. So yeah, I mean... it's a fast format. You know, it's a TV show at the yeah. end of the day. Um, but when you get to the final, the final's over two shows. The final slows right down. You know, people are sitting down with... 300, 400,000 in chips, and we're starting the blinds at 2-4, you know, so it's a completely different game. Um, and I'm not sure how the likes of Tom Dwan, uh, JC Tran, um, Nenard are going to take to the structure. Well, it, it might take them a little time to learn it. It will, because a lot of people come into this event, you know, everyone's up for this, big time, you know, but some people don't always read the terms and conditions of the format. So you'll get them turn up, and, and after the first heat, they'll come out and interview and go, oh, that was a bit quicker than I expected, you know. Um, but you've really got to adjust to it quickly. And people like Yuha Helpy, who's played a lot of these. <coughs> Roland's played a lot of his. Just, it's a case of he can, if he can remember them or not. <laughs> you know, Devilfish now, he's played these. These are clever people. They know how to play the format. And they might let people like Eastgate, Tran and Dwan just go to war and sit back, accumulate the points... You know, and when they get to two or three four-handed, then try and play some poker and, and try and go from there. Here's a guy, Devilfish. He has played two of these Premier League formats. He has never made the final table. I mean, last year it was basically a miracle for him to even get into the heads up. What's wrong with him? I think that Devilfish is, you know, it, he always thinks something bad's going to happen, doesn't he? So yeah. before the, when the cards are on their back, before the flop's even dealt, he's shouting for the other guy to hit his cards. And it, it generally comes... As of late, Jesse, you'll know his luck has changed a little bit. He's yeah. through to the semi-finals of Poker Million. Yeah. He won a heat, the very last heat in Premier League Poker 2, which I can't remember the time before that he won a TV <laughs> heat. You know, and I think now that there's a different expectation on this event. You know, People aren't talking about Devilfish going into this event. They're talking about Eastgate. They're talking about Tran and Dwan and, of course, Helmuth. And I just think that if Devilfish boxes clever, stays out of trouble, ducks and weaves... Nick's a few points early on. He can progress and come up and, and take everyone by surprise. I'd love to see it, Jesse. I would too. But I mean, guys like Helmuth, Tony G, Devilfish, do you think they genuinely feel threatened and should they feel threatened? They've always been the stars of this Premier League. Now, I don't know. I mean, if, if, they, if they turn up and then just throw in a, a zero again, who knows? Well, who needs them? Exactly. There's a lot of pressure on these people, you know. And every player that I've spoken to of, of the new guard, who do you want to crush? Helmuth. Yeah. You know, whether it's Dwan, Eastgate, Annette, they all want to beat him so bad. He's on a hide into nothing here. He's got a lot to prove. 
You know, he hasn't won anything for a long time. You know, let's not forget this. Is he as good as, as well, okay, he can't be as good as he says, because he says he's the best that ever was and ever will be. But do you think he's actually, uh, are these guys outclassing him? I think Phil Helmuth is arguably the greatest tournament player of all time. Um, he, you know, is in a, is such a difficult situation for him against people who really, you know, want to win this title, but at the end of the day, have no fear. You know, and Tom Dwan and Peter Eastgate and JC Tran have no fear at all. No fear. And they'll put Helmuth to decisions for all his chips. And, you know, Helmuth's in a situation now where he knows he has to perform well in this he league. He has to. He has to. One, he might not be back again next year. But two, he wants to do it because he is self-proclaimed the greatest. All right. Well, he's got a little more time left. Let's talk. You take everything together. I want you to pick out two players who you think are going to do well and two players who you don't. Okay, well, I'm going to go for um, the devil fish, you know, because I just, I feel that it's, it's his time and I, I feel that though he deserves something. And it, the last couple of uh, TV heats, he's played absolutely fantastic. Poker Million, one of them. Um, and the World Open before that, that he was unlucky, that the European Open, he was unlucky not to, to get through in that heat. You know, and I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with JC Tran. You know, this is a guy who's travelling in a posse. You know, he's travelling yeah. with Chino Reen, Nan <laughs> Lee, Quinn Du. They're not coming over to lose. No, exactly. <laughs> they want to come back and they want to take home the bacon. They want the trophy. You know, and and that's what we've tried to create in Premier League poker. We've tried to create an event that the greatest players in the world are desperate to win. Yeah. And that's what we're very proud that we've done because all of these twelve are superstars. You know, over the next year, this show is going to go out to more countries than any other TV poker show of all time. These people are going to be recognised all over the world. We are going to make them superstars. We want to make them superstars. They're going to showcase their talents. We're very proud to do it. But at the end of the day, we've created a monster and something that all these players are desperate to win. And people over the world are going to recognise that the winner of Premier League Poker 3 is the greatest poker player on the planet. I think you're right. Can't wait. I'll just go with my two real quick. I'm going to pick Peter Eastgate, the World Series of Poker champion, because I think people completely underrate him, and he has got something to prove. This kid can play. And also Tony G, who, let's be honest, I don't think can play as well as these guys, but in this format, he knows how to simplify things, and he is in really good form right now. He really wants to prove himself, and he'll talk them to death. But those are my two guys. Can't wait. You can check out the odds, of course, and have a bet yourself.